Hey folks, welcome back. So today we are doing a little bit of much needed maintenance on the old farm truck. All right, so these are going about as well as I expected them to go. Uh, this truck is 30 years old after all and so the bolts are in here pretty tightly. At whatever point we actually get these out of here, I'll explain why I'm doing this, but for now, uh, what I wanna do is I wanna try welding the top of this bolt to the truck bed because these should be staying in place so that I can just wrench on that nut and get that off, but this one is spinning. The whole thing is spinning, so it's not allowing me to do anything in the way of getting that nut off from the bottom of that. In addition to that, this is the worst one to have this happen to because I have almost no clearance over here to do anything as far as like trying to cut it off or anything because directly underneath where I'm sitting here is the front gas tank. So I've really got to be careful what I do and that also makes it so I don't have any room underneath here to really get in there to try cutting it or anything. Which also means I want to be really careful with the welder that uh, I don't burn through and have hot sparks of uh, molten metal dropping down on top of that. As a side note, if anybody has a uh, an extra impact driver, impact wrench laying around, you know, like a pneumatic one that they want to donate to a worthy cause, uh, just let me know and I'll give you my address to where to send that to. So we're moving ahead a couple, uh, couple hours here and I've broken a couple things and I've made a little bit of progress so I guess that's worth it. The, uh, the extension that I was using I kinda kinda snapped that off but it's not exactly a surprise when you're going from a quarter inch uh, quarter inch hex uh, adapter there to go into this this little impact driver to a half inch uh, square drive to put into the uh, the socket. Uh, it's, it's not the first one of these that I've, I've broken like this. So from there I ended up making a, uh, a new extension which this is just a piece of half inch tubing which as it turns out is a little bit bigger than half inch so I had to pinch the uh, the corner or the sides in a little bit so that it would fit into a half inch drive and then as it just so happens 
the inside of the half inch tube fits a, uh, a 3 8 drive. So I got a 3 8 drive in there, and then that's a half inch drive on there, which then I'm able to put on this big guy right here. So I still have my extension. So now I've got the back ones out. That wasn't too hard. Those both came out with the, uh, the impact driver. The middle two bolts, uh, those both broke. They were so rusted that once I started uh, torquing on them there, they just they snapped, which that's fine. I've got some replacement stuff. I've got the nut off of the bolt that we welded in there, but the one on the other side, all the way up at the front there, that one's twisting in there as well. So I need to weld that one in. I need to grind that one off so I can get the bolt out. And then once that one's welded, I can try getting the nut off from that one. And either I'm going to break something else, or it's going to come off one way or another, or the bolt's going to break, or something. Something's going to give. Something's going to give. There we go. That's off there. So now we got to go back up and uh, grind those welds off like we did on that other one and then we'll be able to pop that bolt out of there. Ugh. These things do not roll well in the grass. Alright, so where are we at? Uh, we spent all afternoon getting these uh, bolts out of the bed, which now, uh, as you can see, it's now totally disconnected from the frame. Well, almost. Uh, there's still a few bolts where the, uh, the filler necks for the two gas tanks, those connect into the, uh, the sidewall there, but um, other than that, it's totally disconnected from the truck. Now the problem is, we spent all afternoon just trying to get those bed bolts loose, and I've still got to drive out of here this evening. So, what we're going to do is, as it just so happens, I have a couple replacement bolts for the middle two, which are the two that broke when I was taking them out. So, we are going to put two bolts back in here, in those two spots and that'll be two out of six of them that are supposed to be in here but I, uh, I'll, I'll do my best not to drive too crazy on the way out tonight and uh, hopefully everything will stay on here and then tomorrow I should be back out here and we can pull the bed off and get to what I was originally hoping to get to today day two of the project and i think we have seven more things that we need to get disconnected before we can lift the bed now three of those things are in uh, this 
fuel filler neck right here we got three screws that need to come out of here and then we got the front gas tank another three screws in there and then there's also a wiring harness uh, connection which I think there's just one connection for that that run to both of our uh, lights back here on each of the corner which if I added right that's seven different things that we gotta gotta do and then I think we should be good to lift the bed off of here Hopefully that'll keep any dirt from getting down into our filler neck. I think this thing right here is the only wiring connection that needs to be disconnected. I think. I hope. If I can get it disconnected. There we go. Actually, <laughs> came apart better than I thought it looks. And it looks really nice and clean inside there, too. Which is a very good sign. All right, so I think we are ready to lift this thing off from here. Uh, it took a little while to figure out how I wanted to uh, actually attach to the bed to lift it off. And as you can kind of see, what I did is I'm just running two straps underneath the bed and it's gonna act as like a sling that we can just lift up on it. A lot of trucks now come with little uh, D-rings that are in these corners of each of the bed and you can use them for tying stuff down they're really really handy it would also be really nice for if you wanted to lift the bed off it would give you a nice anchor point in each one of the corners to hook to this truck unfortunately does not have those that might be something to uh, think about adding in in the future but we don't have those so this was kind of the best option i could come up with and then also you may be wondering about the uh, the stake pockets hooking something into there but there really just isn't a good way to hook through that with the, uh, the stuff I have on hand to lift this off with. So we got the bed off, but I still haven't explained why exactly it is that we're doing this. So we have several different issues in the back of the truck that need fixing. And the first one that we're going to do is one that hopefully will get fixed today. And that is that our rear strut mount. So this thing right back in here, that rusted off. And you know that it just is what it is it's a 30 year old pickup truck things happen so we got that that needs replacing and that's rubbing on a couple other things so i really want to get that done but we got this nice shiny new look it's even got paint on it i mean this is going to look so out of place on this truck it's not even funny but we got a new part for that so uh we should be able to get that swapped out today the other thing that i want to work on today is I believe that the front gas tank 
is bad. That is my understanding. I have not checked this out myself, but that is my understanding from when I received the truck. So what I want to do is probably try pulling the tank off and I can really look it over. I think there's a little bit of gas in it. So uh, we may be able to kind of tip that around and see if there's a spot that it's leaking out of. It does look like it's got some, you know, it's got some flaky rust on the top of here. So uh, it's, it's showing its age as well. So it would not surprise me if that's correct. That, that is no longer good. And then the second thing, or second, third, we're already on to three issues. Uh, the third thing, and you may have already noticed this, right here. We got a crack in the frame and that started down here at the bottom where it got really thin it was getting rusty and then it just got too weak and it started splitting up through here now i've kind of patched on a little piece of uh angle iron there and that's that's a band-aid it's it's holding it and it's keeping it from getting worse but uh that really needs to be worked on uh, sometime in the relatively new, near future unfortunately it's not something we're going to be able to get done today but that is another reason why I wanted to be able to get the bed off so I could really get to this area to be able to work on it. Problem number four is the, uh, the exhaust system. Uh, in particular, our, uh, our muffler on here is, well, it's not muffling anymore. It's, it's a little worse for wear. That really needs to be replaced. Again, it's something that could be swapped out, could be replaced without removing the bed, but Seeing as we've got as many things as we do that need to be worked on in the back here and I think now that I know what I'm doing for pulling this thing off and the bolts are loosened up to where uh, they shouldn't be too hard to pull all those off another time when I want to get back under here to do some more work it shouldn't take too long to pull the bed. I'm figuring maybe half hour, 45 minutes to get it off and then another half hour, 45 minutes to get back on. So I mean there is some time there that I'm going to have to put into pulling that off but I think the uh, the the mount that it's going to make it easier to work on some of these issues uh, I think it's it's going to be worth that effort. There may be some other things that I'm going to come up with that uh, we'll need to work on back here uh, that will be nice to have the bed off for that I'm not thinking of at the moment. Probably are but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we need to get to it. But for today, first thing that I want to work on is the strut mount. All right, folks, that is going to be it for part one. Uh, part two will be up tomorrow. And, of course, if you are watching this more than a, a day after this was posted, part two is already up, and it should be either here or here. Whichever one of those uh, should say part two. This project ended up taking a little bit longer than I was expecting it to, so that's why I'm breaking it into two smaller videos. Uh, they seem to go over a little bit better when they're a bit shorter. So I will see you guys tomorrow with the second part of this.